Hi, my name is RJ and my me name my name is Jonathan. And together we created Quiculum. It's a class dependency search and visualization platform. You know, given um, all, all of the classes, say the required classes to take in a major, we are going to find the shortest path under certain constraints, like um, the maximum credit hours per semester limits. Scheduling is very complicated. It gives a lot of students a lot of frustration because they don't know what classes to take and they have to keep track of all these prerequisites. There's a lot of information to keep in your head at one time. And so we hope to ease the burden on students by implementing a fantastic system that is way better than what we currently have that allows students to see what they need to take and what they need to do as a student to succeed academically. So I worked on the algorithms, the underlying algorithms behind our system. And Jonathan worked on the front end development to, uh, I guess, showcase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used the Re React to visualize the connections and dependencies among those uh, classes. So here's our, our um, special aspects we want to show. Um, so first, it's a beautiful gra graphical representation, and um, it's very uh, user-friendly because you can interact by click clicking buttons. Uh, we also implemented a simple class selection where with just a single click, you can easily customize your schedule by selecting the classes that you want to take for a given semester or year. And the final is uh, we have different modes that a user can switch uh, when visualizing the graphs. As you can see here, our system has a fantastic, colorful, visual representation of all the classes that you may need to take as an Ohio State student. You can toggle several different options depending on what you want to see at a given moment, and you can select your courses to generate a schedule for yourself. So um, I added some visualization features. Say if you click on a node, it will be brightened. So those nodes will be brightened. And it's not always any nodes you can click on. It has to follow the class dependencies. Say you cannot click the nodes um, not on the path. Say this node, that's impossible. So you you have to click node one by one. Uh, I, add, I, I added that constraints. And also for um, better visualization, I show users the, led, the legends. OK. And uh, uh, the second feature is the mode, like the visualization mode. Like uh, if I click this, that means uh, nodes are displayed by um, course numbers. And if I uh, switch to the other button, the nodes will be displaced by departments. OK. And then um, how to generate the schedule. So uh, once the total number of nodes, if the total number of nodes have uh, the total credits maximum than uh, the max credits for the semester, then this button will become green. And then if the user clicks on it, it will generate um, the schedule for the user. It's the shortest the schedule. Um, if there are multiple reasons why students should use curriculum, curriculum rather. Uh, number one, it can close the gap between uh, students and academics, making them more familiar with the classes they have to take in the future. They can make better decisions about what they need to take to succeed. It'll alleviate the stress of scheduling, and it's very easy and intuitive to use, unlike traditional scheduling systems. Thank you. I want to do it again. That was so bad. <laughs> <laughs>